14.8 is absolutely loaded with champion changes as we've got 19 of them who will be adjusted. Skarner is getting some follow-up changes after his rework. A bunch of ADCs are buffed while Briar is being nerfed yet again. This patch is set to go live April 17th, so let's get you guys set up with everything you need to know. And remember, if you're struggling to climb in League, Skillcapped is the only place that guarantees that you're going to climb at least five divisions while actively using our service. Otherwise, you can just claim a full refund. Now, we do this because our service really works, and this is the best time of the season to get in on Skillcapped, as we've just released tons of site-exclusive courses designed just for you to power learn the most important concepts for climbing in League of Legends. Stupidly fast at that compared to those who don't use Skillcapped. So join today for unlimited access to the world's most famously effective League of Legends guides. And remember, one subscription gives you access to all of our other games as well. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to stop wasting that time being hard stuck and get the rank that you actually want. And with that said, let's get into it. Let's start off the video by covering a few changes to monsters as we've got an adjustment to Baron with Riot increasing the damage that Baron deals on many of its attacks. Void Grubs are also being changed in 14.8 with their spawn time going up from 5 to 6 minutes. True damage per stack against structures is going up from 6 to 8. The spawn threshold of the grub's buff is going from 5 down to 4 stacks. However, you're going to still gain a second summon at 6 stacks. Moving on to all the champion buffs now. First up, let's take a look at Akali. Akali's early game will be receiving an added jolt for this patch as her base health is going up from 570 to 600. Draven's getting a boost to his early game as well with Q base damage being increased from 40 scaling to 60 up from 45, scaling to 65. Gallia will be buffed for a second patch in a row with his base movement speed going up from 335 to 340. Q cooldown is also being reduced from 12 to 11 seconds at rank 1, but will stay the same at max rank. We have a couple of Graves buffs for next patch, with his crit damage ratio per pellet going up from 40 to 45%. Riot's also going to be increasing the effect of attack speed from items and runes towards reload time by 35%. Huey will be receiving two buffs in 14.8. The first is to his passive, with the AP ratio going up from 30 to 35%. QQ AP ratio is being increased as well, from 75 to 80%. Jarvan is going to be making a push back into the meta for 14.8, as Riot will be buffing his passive percent health damage from 6 to 7%. It looks like Jin is going to be one of the biggest winners of the patch here. Riot's looking to buff up crit for Jin for 14.8, as they're going to be increasing his passive bonus movement speed when you crit from 10 to 14%. QAD ratio is also going up from 35, scaling to 65%, to 44, scaling to 74%. Q base damage is getting a complete meme change as it's going from 45, scaling to 145, to 44 scaling to 144. We've got a Kai'Sa buff on the way with her Q bonus 80 ratio being increased from 50 to 55%. Now, some pretty significant LeBlanc buffs are penciled in for this patch, with her Q base damage being increased by 5 at all ranks. The big one is to her W cooldown, though, as it's being reduced from 18 down to 15 seconds at rank 1. Jungle Olaf landed a bit weaker than Riot had hoped for after the 14.7 buffs, so they're buffing him again in 14.8. Q bonus monster damage is going from 5 scaling to 25 to 5 scaling to 45. A few rise buffs are being issued in 14.8 with his W cooldown going from 13 scaling to 9 seconds to 11 scaling to 9 seconds. W slow is being buffed as it's going from 35 to 50%. Riot missed the mark with the Silas buffs last patch, so they're giving him an added boost for 14.8. Q monster detonation damage is being increased again, this time going from 70 to 100%. Some Thresh buffs are on the way as his base on Armor and Magic Resist Growth are both going up. Base Armor is up from 31 to 33, while Magic Resist Growth is up from 1.3 to 1.55. We've got some Azir nerfs for 14.8, with his base health regen being reduced from 5 to 3.5, and W base damage is nerfed, going from 50 scaling to 118 to 50 scaling to 110. Briar has been an OP tier jungler for a while in the lower ranks, so more nerfs are headed her way. Health per level is dropping from 100 to 95. Q cast range is going up from 450 to 475. W attack speed is lowered from 54, scaling to 110%, to 55, scaling to 95%. 
Zack is receiving a base stat nerf for this patch, with his base health regen being reduced from 8 to 5. Zeri has been dominating the higher elos in recent patches, so her early game is going to be toned down, with base health being lowered from 630 to 600. Mordekaiser will be getting a massive adjustment for this patch, as enemies will no longer be able to QSS his R. Now, we're not 100% sure on this, but it likely means that Gangplank W and Olaf R won't work against Mord's R now, too. Q cooldown is going to be buffed as it's being lowered from 9 to 8 seconds at rank 1. E damage is going to be lowered by 10. There's a lot of Skarner changes planned for this patch as Riot's looking to buff up jungle the most while keeping top lane in check. Mana growth is going down from 45 to 40. Mana regen growth is being increased from 0.45 to 0.6. Q pickup cast time is being reduced from 0.5 to 0.35 seconds. Q2 recast lockout is being reduced from 0.75 to 0.5 seconds. Q duration is going up from 3.5 to 5 seconds. Q base damage is buffed at the later ranks, going from 50 to 70 at max rank. Q bonus AD ratio is bumped up from 40 to 60%. Q mana cost is being lowered by 10 at all ranks, and W base damage is being nerfed while mana cost on W is going up. All right, guys, so one last thing here. Our rank up guarantee, it's insane. It's like signing up for the gym and getting a refund if you don't get ripped. That's how confident we are at Skillcat. Now, we have obsess over making the best guides with top players, rigorous testing, and top-tier video editing to make your climb as easy as possible. If you're ready to level up, visit skillcap.com and see the difference. So there you have it, guys, a complete look at all the new changes that are going to be headed to live servers on April 17th. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you back soon.